are here live in Viking Country for Stack Monster Productions and the basketball game between the Bar Sills Knights and the Vernon Vikings. We'll set the lineup in a minute. I'm the Stack Monster. You're not. Deal with it. Out on the court for the Knights. Number one, Jack Minkowski. There's a strip by number two, Evan Turner. Number 12, Damian Gonzalez. Number 22, Ryan Machuga. Number 11, Ryan Cattell. And I believe that's five players, and I think I'm good to go. So, let's see what tonight has to hold for the, the Knights and the Vikings up here in Vernon, New Jersey. I almost feel like it's Vermont or some other place north because it's quite a hike from Morris Hills. Binkowski from the left side back to Turner. Turner with a nice bounce pass in the Gonzalez. Knights moving the ball around with ease on their opening possession of the game. But the Knights very deliberate in this opening possession, looking for an opportunity to get a good shot. The Vernon Vikings set up in some, looks like they're set up in some type of a zone. I tell you what type of a zone. Nice bounce pass to Binkowski. Ball fake, rattles in, rattles out. Gonzalez grabs the board. Can't connect on the putback. Off the glass and out. Into the lane. Number 44 with the bucket for the Vikings. Gonzalez on the foul call. 44 will go to the line and shoot one. Chance for a three point play. Money as he swishes it through. 3 0, Vernon. Tell feed into Machuga. Machuga grabs his board off the miss, gets fouled, he'll shoot two. I'm here with a special guest tonight. Two games in a row for Jimbo. I call him Promel, you call him Promel. Promel, 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 Promel. Let's call the whole thing off. Oh, wait, that's tomato, tomato. But anyway, you get my drift. Machuga. Right now, the basket to the far end of the court has a bad case of the gremlins, the little gremlins inside the cylinder knocking everything out. Can Machuga correct the gremlin problem on this shot? The lane violation or a foul down low. I'm guessing it was a lane violation because I don't hit, see the referee going over the table calling a foul call. Gonzalez tips it away. Back in the hands of number 20. Pass to the left. 30. Stops, pops, drops off the catch and shoot. 5 nothing lead. Vernon. Could tell. Out to Binkowski. Into the middle. Bounce pass from Evan Turner. Shot is long by Cattell. Ryan Kachuga comes up with it. Over to Turner. Turner swings it left. Through the hands of Binkowski to Machuga. Machuga's shot misses. Vikings have it. Number 20, long baseball pass. Floats it up off the far rim. Vernon can't put back the miss. But the Knights catch it and step out of bounds. Vernon will reset with a 5 0 lead and three minutes elapsed. Tipped away by Gonzalez. No, Cattell, check that. Cattell with the steal. Out the pass. Binkowski into the paint. Rattles around, doesn't go down. 
Grabbed by Cattell. Cattell takes it back in the paint. Two defenders there. Tries to get it out to Turner, number two, but it's deflected out of bounds by number 30 for Vernon. Gonzalez goes strong, can't finish, gets his rebound, again. Knights getting their opportunities, are not able to put the ball in the basket thus far, and they trail 5-0. Stolen by Binkowski, into Gonzalez. Gonzalez gets fouled, he'll shoot two. Turner takes some Instruction from Coach G, heads back to the middle. Gonzalez, with four minutes and 21 seconds remaining in the first quarter, looks to deposit the first points of the game for the Knights, and he does as he gets the roll on the first one. Five to one, Vikings. Second one is a miss. Gonzalez gets it back, out to Turner, Turner. Into the paint, he got contact, no call. Finds Cattell, Cattell shot too strong off the far rim. Five one, four oh six. Inside the big man with the soft touch, but no good. Gonzalez says, "Here, you take it, Mr. Turner." And Et bounces it to the right, back to Turner. Turner number two from Rockaway, New Jersey. Ball fake, pass left. Chuga, one foot inside, decides to pass it over to Binkowski. Substitutions into the game, three minutes, 43 seconds, and Knights trail five to one. Into the game, number four, Sam Stackhouse, number 10, Damon Fleming, number 35, Anthony Leosi, number five, Patrick McAndrew, number 10, Damon Fleming, did I say his name twice? Too bad. And number 32, Eric Look. Number 30, shots no good. Leosi with the rebound. Leosi into the corner to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from three, it's gonna be short. Stackhouse tips it back out off the miss. Leosi has it, Leosi into the paint, off his leg. Four guys in, he gets it to an open Stackhouse. Stackhouse drives, floats, in. 5-3. Three minutes, five seconds, first quarter. Vernon Vikings, five. Marcellus Knights, three. Pass in the middle, number 20. Look is there with a hand up, forces a bad shot. Rebound, kicks out. But rattled around on the floor, rolled out. Number 30 comes up with the loose ball for the Vikings. Timeout on the play with two and a half left in the first. Vikings with the 30 second timeout will come back at you with the Knights trailing the Vernon Vikings by score of five to three. You are tuned in to Stack Monster Productions and the Marcel's Knights Basketball Network. Vikings have it off the timeout, play in hand. Tipped away on the interior by Look. Vikings still have it. Inside, kick out, swing left, number 20 from three. No. Squeezed by Fleming. Leosi on the right. Kick right. Fleming, two defenders into the paint. Or just outside the paint to Look. Stackhouse calls out to play at the two minute mark. Knights trail by two. Running over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from three, it's gonna be off to the left. That's an NBA shot, nothing but air. Vernon, Knights with the full court pressure. Stackhouse and Leosi. 
Stackhouse tips it away, gets it in the corner. Back out on perimeter, Knight set. Leosi has a look. Poor Roto Rooter, cause he drained it. Leosi with the three. Knight's doing some damage with the backcourt pressure stolen by Fleming. Fleming into the paint. They call a foul on the floor, no bucket. However, the three-pointer by Leosi gives the Knights a one-point lead, six to five. 119 remaining in the first quarter. Vince Binkowski in the house. Bada bang, bada bing, Koski it is. Leosi, ball fake to the left, Stackhouse. Knights with a one point lead and one minute left. Moving the ball around the perimeter, looking for a shot inside. Nothing's there, so Leosi launches in and out. Offensive rebound by Look, and he banks it in off the left side of the glass for an 8-5 lead. Under a minute to go, backcourt pressure again, Stackhouse, they get it over. Hustling back, McAndrew, Fleming also in the paint for 20, banks it in high off the glass. Cuts it to one, eight, seven, Knights. Oh, really? 30 seconds. McAndrew. Reverses it to Leosi. Inside. Spin move in the paint. Off the mark by Look. Foul. That'll be the first on Fleming. Second team foul for the Knights. Three team fouls for the Vikings. Deflected away by Leosi. Vikings have it back. Vikings trail, eight to seven, they have possession. Four seconds remaining. Number 10 with the three-pointer, in and out at the buzzer. We'll go to the second half in what has been, second quarter that is, in what has been a low-scoring first quarter. The Knights trail five to nothing. They now lead eight seven. We'll come back at you for second quarter action here on the Knights Television Network. We are here for the start of the second quarter of action. Number five, stolen away by Leosi. Stackhouse on the run. Stackhouse pushes. He finds Look, cutting to the basket. Look off the feet on the fast break. All predicated on the steal by Anthony Leosi. 10-7. Drive, look there in the paint, flip out. That's a miss. Leosi kicks it to Stackhouse on the wing. Stackhouse, two defenders, nothing on the drive. They swing it left. Leosi, something in the paint there. He keeps his plant foot, is able to get it out to Stackhouse. Quick pass, they reverse it to the left. 6.50 on the clock, remaining in the half, 10-7. McAndrew from downtown, no. Vernon. All fast break opportunity. If, I, if I'm correct, now it's number 35, Nick Izzo. Number 35, through his hands, run down by number 31 for Vikings. 31, tries to get past McAndrew, he can't. Bounce pass inside, Fleming with the good defense. Hands up, force the ball back outside. McAndrew on the run out, but not in time as 31 ties the game with a three-pointer at 10. 6-11 on the clock. 10-10. Leosi in the paint, kick out. McAndrew over to Stackhouse. Gets it inside, out to free throw line. Leosi, Leosi's pass is picked off. And the layup is good for a 12-10 lead. Timeout by Coach G with five minutes and 45 seconds. Knights had a 10-7 lead, but a 5-0 run. 
precipitated the timeout by Coach T. We're coming back at you on Stack Monster Productions. Stackhouse takes the ball off of the timeout, slices the play. Look. Into the paint. Stackhouse, ball fake, tries, floats. Good, and the foul. Stackhouse good, his second floater of the game. The outside stuff's not going down for him, but so far he's got the floater working in this game. He'll go to the line, score tied with a chance for a three-point play and a one-point lead. 5.31 on the clock in the first half. Three throw rattles around and in for Stackhouse. Oh. Number 31 for Vernon, hit the three-pointer. They're gonna have to keep a man out on him. Jump shot inside the stripe, miss. Offensive rebound, blocked by number 21, Kurt Neese into the game. Neese on the floor, tries to get rid of it. Timeout by Coach G, saves the possession for the Knights who lead 13 to 12. Kurt Neese with a big rebound. We're gonna stay live. As I kick back, stretch out my back, I watch Elvin Caravello on the text. He's on the iPhone. Is he texting or is he on the internet? I want to know. What is he checking? He's checking, well, he's checking for a good razor because now that he shaved his mustache, he needs to keep that facial hair short. And I can say that because I know he'll be watching this broadcast at some point. As I'm surrounded by retirees. <laughs> number 15, Alex Vivia checks into the game for the Knights along with number 24, Joe Vicente, and 21, Kurt Neese. They join Look and Stackhouse on the court. Stackhouse over to Vivia. Vivia drives. Third defender comes over to help out. That leaves a mismatch elsewhere. Cross court, Vivia, Vivia, two defenders converge. Over to Stackhouse, Stackhouse drives. Flips it to the right, Eric look. Look back to Stack, Stack, one more to the left. And he'll reset. He's looking to give Vicente an opportunity to score and Vicente says, thank you Stack very much. Stackhouse with another assist and Vicente with two points. And the Knights with a three point lead. Pull back by 22, he misses. Rebound by Vicente. I didn't think so. Stackhouse over to Vivia. Vivia, head fake. Shot blocked. Vernon has it. Stackhouse cuts off the lane, spin into the middle. Number five. Two defenders kicks it out to Izzo. Izzo. He scores off the glass. 15-14. Knights still lead by one. Vicente, number 24, cross court to Vivia, Vivia, down low, his shot is blocked. Stackhouse on number five, number five with a nice move and he converts for a one point lead. That gets Fleming off the bench and over at the scorer's table, along with number 11, Ryan Cattell. Vivia spins, looks for a man, he finds Look. Look thought about a three for just a second. He elects to kick it back to Vivia. Vivia to Stackhouse, Stackhouse from downtown. He misses, looks to find the range. Oh from three from behind the arc. Drive to the hoop, 24. Score the bucket. With 2.49 remaining in the half, the Vikings now lead the Knights by three. Stackhouse, drive, dish, Vivia. Stackhouse. Stackhouse finds a new friend from behind. As that's a personal foul. That's a personal foul of the most personal variety. Yeah. 
Turner checks back into the game, along with Fleming and Cattell. Nice feed to Benkoski. Oh, Benkoski back into the game as well, number one. He took the feed, I think, from Fleming. I'm not sure. Just a little bit short on the shot. Vernon has it with 2.20 left. Full court pressure. Turner, Cattell. Izzo inside, picked off by Fleming. Turner has it and in the corner. Binkowski, Binkowski. Inside, outside. Three second violation on the Knights. Knights have to hustle back defensively. Machuga was. Ryan Machuga was hung out to dry on the defensive end as they had a two on one and Vernon has a five point lead. Turner with the ball. Keeps his plant foot, finds Fleming. Fleming over to Cattell, Cattell, kick it, Binkowski. Inside, Machuga, ball's loose, on the floor. Wouldn't you know it, who's there to pick up the loose ball? Damon Fleming, number 10. And to Cattell, Cattell couldn't handle the pass. So he kicks it out. Machuga, Machuga gets it to Turner. Turner, kick, open look. Binkowski, bada bang, bada Binkowski! With a three pointer, cuts it to two. Inside, a cutter. Number 32 came free in the paint. And he extends the lead at the one minute mark. Back up to five, 20. No, four, 22 to 18. Four point lead for the Vikings. Cattell into the paint. Nice find, now Cattell spins. Draws the defender off and flips it to Fleming for an easy bucket. 22-20, 41 seconds, left and a half. Minkowski tips it away, number 31 gets it back, drives, slices the pass right into Izzo who banks it in for a four point lead, 24 to 20. Turner gets it tipped away, gets it in the back court. Cattell over to Minkowski in the corner, inside the arc. Minkowski is hot, hot, hot. As hot as the fire red on the Knights jerseys. Five in a row for Binkowski. 24-22. Jack Binkowski keeping the Knights in this ball game. 5.6 on the clock. Vernon has it with a two point lead. They look to get one more shot and score before halftime. Fleming out on Izzo. Into the corner. Blocked by Turner. Loose ball came to number 32 and he blows the layup at the buzzer. We go to halftime with the Knights trailing the Vernon Vikings by a score of 24 to 22. You are watching Knights basketball action live on recorded television on Stack Monster Productions. We'll see you in the second half. <laughs> Knights take the court for the second half with Stackhouse, Cattell, Leosi, Look, and Fleming. Cattell will inbound the ball over to Stackhouse. Inside the look, back to Stack. Over to Leosi. Leosi has one three. Make that two. Call Roto Rooter one more time as he flushes it down the drain. And scores tied at 24. Stolen by the Knights. Stackhouse the floater. Bada bing, bada bang. Bada bin. 26 24. I don't know what bada bin is, but sometimes these things just emanate from my mouth. Knights with a quick run. Stolen by Stackhouse from behind. Stackhouse pushes the ball. Beautiful feed to Cattell. Cattell, score of the basket! Stackhouse with the assist as the Knights push the ball. And they lead 28-24. Fleming, Fleming! Damon Fleming forces a turnover! As the Knights force the Vikings to turn the ball over on three successive possessions. Let's stop here. 
But it did. But it did, coach. Stackhouse. Stackhouse says, I'm not shooting well from three, but Leosi is. So I'll give it to him. Fleming on the right. They're looking, tipped away. Fleming runs it back down in the backcourt. Stackhouse. Knights being patient. Defender in the face of Leosi. Inside, oh, did you see that? Eric Look says, here you go, Cattell. Cattell just a little bit off to the right with the shot. He went up with his right hand and it was off to the right and off the front of the rim. But the Knights get it back as the ball sails out of bounds off of a Viking. Stackhouse to the left, Cattell back to Stack. Stack into Fleming. Fleming, nice ball moving into the paint. Leosi from downtown. Nine from deep by Anthony Leosi. 31-24. Knights with their largest lead of the game. Yeah. Into the paint, 24, Look was there. Foul on Look, his first. 6-11, not the highway, the time on the clock. 24 at the line, Look with his first. First team foul for the Knights. They, they score the first nine points of the second half to take what was a 31 to 24 lead. The first free throw makes it 31 25. Second free throw attempt is good. And the Knights lead by five. Look, into the paint, strong move, block, tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Look, they say. Drive to the basket, good defense by Fleming, pull back jumper, miss, 25, grabs it, blocked by Look. Look to flex it on the block over to Cattell. Cattell, outlet pass to Fleming. Defense gets back, kicks out to an open Leosi. Leosi this time can't connect, but Fleming gets it. He gets it out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse says, go Roto Roder. I can drain it too. And a three pointer by Stackhouse gives the Knights an eight point lead, 34 to 26. Five and a half minutes to go in the third. Look is going to steal that. The baseball pass, or should I say the football pass, intercepted by number 32, Eric Look. Stackhouse has the ball for the Knights, and Knights lead 34 to 26 over the Vernon Vikings. Knights came in that. Ball fake to the basket, kick out into the paint. The ball was just a little low to Look. Number five to the basket. Wild and crazy shot. Misses everything except for the waiting hands, the loving hands of Eric Look. Stackhouse to Leosi. Leosi dribbles inside at the elbow. Over to Fleming. Fleming, no good. Tipped by Cattell. Look, Cattell. Look, Look has it. Leosi. Leosi from three. Front rim. Another rebound, this time by Cattell. Cattell finds Look. Look over to Leosi. Leosi. Ball fake. Drive. Cattell. Elbow. One step inside the elbow. Shot off to the right. Cattell looked for the contact, no call. White has it, White would be Vernon. In case you hadn't noticed. 4.33 in the third. Knights lead, 34-26. Number five on the run. Tipped away by Leosi, over to Stackhouse. On the floor, Leosi, Stackhouse, 44. Has it for Vernon. Foot on the line, jump shot, no good. 44 grabs the rebound, gets stripped, but it kicks out to number five for the Vikings. Number five in the Vikings. The command is to pull it out. No, he dishes in. 25, strong, two hands up. Puts it in, 34-28. Fleming, over to Stackhouse. 34-28, six point lead. Stackhouse, skids it in the look. Look over to Leosi. 
Leosi's pass was tipped, but tipped right to look. And look, turns around, strange angle, left hand, no problem. Eric look with the bucket. Back up to eight is the lead. Tipped by Leosi, stolen by Cattell. Cattell back to Leosi. Leosi drives, out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from the corner, off the front rim. Tipped by Cattell, but over to the Vikings. Long, long two, short. Rebound squeezed by Leosi, 36-28. Knights lead with 3.06 in the third. Look, turn around from the paint. Cattell with the board. Cattell rips it and draws a foul. First team foul for the Vikings here in the second half. The first on number 21. Turner checks into the game with McAndrew, Machuga, Gonzalez, and Binkowski. Nice look, Binkowski was hot in the first half. Then he's got the hot hand. Bada bang, bada, Binkowski with two more. Binkowski with six or seven. Binkowski hit a three, I believe. That's seven points for Binkowski. Jack Binkowski making it happen. Tipped away by Gonzalez. Number five squeezes it back. Turner got a hand on that. But the Vikings are able to maintain possession. Drive and dish. Batted away by Binkowski over to the Vikings. Vikings miss and McAndrew grabs it. Turner, ball fake, over to McAndrew. McAndrew stepped into a three, off the front. Knights have gone cold, but they lead by 10. Thanks to the shooting of Binkowski. Number 21 dribbles it off his foot and out of bounds. Instead of doing this, push them. Turner, bounce pass into Machuga, open to an O, kicks it to an open Minkowski, just a little long. Gonzalez grabs the board, into the paint. Turner's shot, rattles around, doesn't go down. But Turner, Turner with a nice catch. Step over to Binkowski. Knight tree set, McAndrew, Gonzalez. 10 foot jump shot, miss. Twenty-one bounce pass in the paint. Number twenty-one had the ball in his hands, tried to stand up. Mysteriously, there was no call, and the Vernon coach calls a timeout at the 105 mark, with the Knights leading the Vikings by a score of 38 to 28. You are in, you see it right up there. They call it Viking country. I call it a 10 point lead, coming back at you. And down to number 10. Turner digs in defensively. Inside the 44, two defenders converge, Machuga and Gonzalez. Gonzalez grabs the miss. Good defense by Machuga and Gonzalez on the interior. Pinkowski with eight points. Kicks over to Machuga on the right, Machuga number 22. And Pinkowski, both from Morton, New Jersey, along with Damian Gonzalez. Outlet pass, number 20. He finds an open Binkowski. Problem is, Binkowski wears a different jersey. Turner into Gonzalez. Gonzalez got the contact. Turner, oh so close. Nice find by Evan Turner, ET. Gonzalez will shoot two with 13.9 seconds. Short.
Second one is good. 39-28. Number 10 into the paint. Gonzalez there. Wild and crazy shot misses. Another rebound for Gonzalez. Turner with four seconds. Beautiful find by Turner in the Minkowski. Can't get it to go. Knights can't convert. They lead though. Going into the fourth quarter by a score of 39 to 28. You are tuned into the Knights Television Network and Stack Monster Productions. Start of the fourth quarter. Turner, Binkowski, Machuga, McAndrew, and Gonzalez remain on the court for the Knights. Inside the number 35, Izzo. Foul from behind. I think they're going to whistle Machuga. His first, I believe. It is. Two team fouls apiece. Izzo shoots two. Izzo connects on the first. 39-29. Long on the second. McAndrew with the board. Turner handles the point. Evan Turner spins over to Binkowski. Binkowski with a nice catch. Back to Turner. Turner bounces it into Machuga. Machuga with three defenders. Good quick ball movement. He finds Turner. Turner finds Binkowski. Binkowski a little bit long on the shot. Number 32 saves it. He's going to get fouled. I think Gonzalez. Stackhouse back into the game with Cattell, Look, Leosi, Fleming. Second one on Gonzalez. Third team foul. Izzo will inbound the ball. Ten points is the deficit. Jumper off to the right. Leosi squeezes it. Finds Stackhouse. Stackhouse brings the ball up court. Over to Cattell. Cattell. One more pass to Fleming. Bounces it inside the look. Look turns around. Almost. Cattell with another rebound. Cattell puts it on the floor. Dribbles out. In the look. Eric look. Back to Cattell. Cattell. They swing it. Leosi left. Stackhouse drives into the paint. Floater. They call three seconds on the Knights. Patel close to a steal on that play. Ball's on the ground. Stolen by Stackhouse. Stackhouse. Feeds it into Cattell! Cattell bangs it in! Stackhouse with the assist and one to come! 6.36 on the clock, 41-29, score the bucket. Ryan Cattell, he's gonna get another shot. And Cattell is money. 42-29, Knights. Stackhouse with another steal. Stackhouse with the layup is good. Steal and a layup by Stack Monster Jr. 44-29. Look back defensively. Look might have got a piece of that, maybe not. Fuck it is good. 44-31. Riosi into the paint, took it from Stackhouse, and knocks it down! Stackhouse feeds it into Leosi for two more. Leosi with 11. Floater, no. Back to number 20, he tries it again. No again. No means no. Knights have it. They lead by 15. Ryan Cattell into a cutting Leosi. Leosi has 13. This time Cattell picks up the assist. 
And that's going to be a backcourt violation as the Vernon player was not able to establish his feet on the front court when he took that pass. But that was all created by the pressure that the Knights were putting on the ball handler. He panicked, and you saw the result. Leosi's last score gave the Knights a 48-31 lead. Stackhouse to Leosi. Ball movement. Leosi, turn around, bank shot, good. 15 for Leosi. Leosi with 15, Stackhouse with 10, Binkowski with 8. Layup down the other end, 50 to 33. Knights with a 17 point lead. Hard to believe they trailed by two at halftime. Stackhouse blows by the defender like, like an arrow through space. There's a miss. 32, scores. Back down to 15. Stackhouse floats it over to Leosi. Leosi. Gets it to Cattell, back to Stack, 4-12. Stackhouse into the paint, got it tipped away. Leosi hustled back on defense. Izzo in the middle. Pass was off the mark to number 32, who kicks it out to 21 for three. And the three is good. Down to 12. Knights need to settle it down. They've got plenty of time. This time this tip away doesn't work and Stackhouse gets by. Fleming. Stackhouse around a screen. Knights lead 50 to 38. Stackhouse around number five into the paint. Kick. Back out. Could tell from downtown. Short. Leosi grabs the board. Pulls it back out. Knights can reset and take more time off the clock. But they don't. As they lose the handle in the paint. Izzo. Izzo banks it in. It's down to 10. 50 to 40. Timeout on the play. A little bit of a run. Cuts it to 10. Still in double digits with 310. And Knights got to settle down, move the ball around, get good shots. We'll come back at you for the conclusion of the game on Stack Monster Productions. Jack Binkowski checks back into the game for the Knights. Stackhouse getting looked at by the trainer. Patel loses the handle. Ball's on the loop, on the floor. Tie up. Knights will have it on the possession arrow. Stackhouse looks like he's a little bit sick to the stomach. Hard to say. Timeout by the Vikings. Stackhouse says thank you for that. As he catches his breath. With three minutes remaining in the game, the Knights have a 10 point lead. And we'll take a timeout. They gave the timeout to the Vernon Vikings before the tie-up. And so the Vikings will maintain possession. Knights got to come up defensively here. They don't want to give the Vikings any more hope than they already have. And it's a errant pass picked off by Binkowski. And the Knights can slow it down and force the Vikings into a fouling situation. Cattell over to Fleming. Fleming with the wise move. Knights don't need this shot, but they take it anyway. Knights should settle down and look for layups or easy high percentage shots right now. They lead by 10. There should be no, no rushing, no panic. Just play basketball, move it around. Fifty to forty, Knights lead. Vernon looking for a shot. They get a look at a three. Off the rim. Number five saves it from going out of bounds in the corner. He drives into the paint. Two defenders there. Shot might have been partially blocked by Looker Leosi. And Binkowski comes up with another loose ball.
Cattell pulls it back out. The Knights can do that. Tipped out of bounds. Minkowski. Leosi. Minute and a half. Knights by 10. They can just dribble out the time if they want. Vikings are going to have to foul if they want any chance. Ball was deflected from behind. And it's a turnover on the Knights. The one thing the Knights don't want to do is turn the ball over. Leosi tips it. Number five kicks it out to 21. Into an open 32 down low. And now it's down to eight. The Knights had a 17 or 18 point lead. And then they got sloppy. Inside the Fleming by Leosi. And that'll bring Stackhouse back into the game as he's recovered for whatever ailment ailed him. That's why they call them ailments, because they ail you. Not to be confused with A-L-E ale, which would be a different type of ale. Could be ginger ale, could be pale ale, depending on your age. Check the birth certificate. 50 to 42, Vikings have it, trailing by eight. Corner, three, hand in the face by Cattell. Rattles around, does it go down? Big rebound by Look. Look to Stackhouse. Stackhouse gets fouled from behind. Might be too little too late for the Vikings. Vikings with four fouls to give. Don't start committing fouls till 41 seconds are left in the game. And it's gonna take them a while to put the Knights at the free throw line. Full court pressure. Knights control the timeout. Vinkowski's pass was picked off and a personal foul by Cattell. Will not be a shooting foul. Will be on the floor. 40 seconds remain. Knights can dig in and play good defense. Which, ah, uh, backdoor cut. A Knight came over for the help defense and the ball, that's a grab, that's another personal foul. That's five team fouls with 29 seconds. It's still a six point game. The Knights can just protect the ball, play error free ball, and wait to go to the free throw, throw, throw line. Hit those free throws and let's get out of here, boys. Backcourt pressure, Stackhouse takes it. Stackhouse gets grabbed, no call. Stackhouse floats it to Fleming. Fleming over to Luck and they'll reset at the top. Patel gets grabbed. Only 20 seconds left now. Six point game, 50 to 44. Patel gets grabbed. And we're into the bonus with 19 seconds. The recipe simple. Hit your free throws, win the game. Simple as in the eyes of the beholder. Cattell. Can't connect the front end of the one and one, but Fleming gets it back, and the Knights can run more time off the clock. Stackhouse will go to the line and shoot a one and one with a six point lead in 13 seconds. Stackhouse's money on the first. That makes it a three possession game. Stackhouse can't connect on the second, but it's a seven point game with 10 seconds. Knights can let the Vernon shoot, they don't have to foul. And that should just about do it. With three seconds left, they'll dribble out the clock, and the Knights will walk away with a 51 to 44 lead. 15 for Leosi, 11 for Stackhouse, eight or 10 for Binkowski. 
Look contributing. Damon Fleming with stellar defense. Everybody getting in the act tonight for the Knights. And we will come back at you on Thursday night with the Lady Knights Television Network from Roxbury, New Jersey. This is the Stack Monster saying, see ya next time on Stack Monster Productions.